the f is David Dobrik? That was my first thought when YouTube recommended me a video of a two and a half million dollar LA mansion with a kid holding a rocket launcher in the thumbnail. Gotta love the algorithm. This episode's gonna suck. <laughs> Apparently, I've been living under a rock because this guy has over 15 million subscribers and after watching some of the videos, I can easily see why. You would have to try not to like this guy. Funny, lighthearted, charismatic, and every one of his videos is four minutes and 21 seconds long, which is just pretty awesome. I even somehow ended up on one of his TikTok videos with some sort of world record toothpaste science experiment. It was absolutely wild. After that, I started to watch his mukbang or mukbang or whatever you kids call it, where he claims he prefers Burger King over Chick-fil-A because it feels like a school lunch. And after learning about his love for Chipotle and chicken wings combined with his passion for clickbait, I knew I couldn't pass up on the opportunity to live a day in the life like this YouTube phenom. Research, I learned that David is not a big fan of breakfast and typically skips it all together, which does not make for a very exciting food video. So I started to do a little bit more research, dig a little deeper, watch all these videos, and a common restaurant kept appearing time and time again, and that is the fast food classic chain. Burger King. I have not been here in many years. Back in the day, my mom would take me here as like a treat on bring your kid to work day. She was a teacher. So before we went into school, she would let me go to Burger King, get their breakfast. I would get the Cine Minis and an egg and cheese biscuit sandwich. I loved the thing. It was awesome. Or maybe it was a bagel sandwich. Can't really remember orange juice. But anyway, that's kind of besides the point. So I am going to channel my inner David Dobrik and think, what would David do if he was going to Burger King for breakfast? What would he get? And we'll see what we can come up with. So the whole time I'm in line, I'm thinking, what would David do? I feel like I know the guy personally after watching all those videos, and I don't know what it was, but something kept telling me that he would want the, the egg and ham croissants. If you guys don't know, the Burger King croissants are delicious. And I thought it'd just be a nice way to change up from the biscuits and the bagels, you know, the, the ordinary items. Let's give this guy a try. I think David is onto something. People are sleeping on Burger King. I'm literally, besides this employee, the only person here. And it's 8 o'clock on Sunday morning, prime time for a breakfast, you know? This thing. This is delicious. I would give this like a, like an 8.42 out of 10. I am pleasantly surprised. And one of the items I forgot about are their hash browns. So it's a little bit different than what you get at McDonald's. You get these little little guys right here. But mm. Next up on our Day of David is one of my favorite places in the entire world. I knew I liked this guy, Starbucks, but I'm gonna be trying a new drink. He gets an iced cappuccino out of a sippy cup, which we'll see how that goes. But I've never had a cappuccino before in my life, didn't even know what it was. Thankfully, the internet always has your back. If you're like me and you're wondering, what's the difference between a cappuccino and a latte? They seem very similar. They're almond milk lattes, amazing. The, my favorite thing at Starbucks is a nitro cold brew with sweet cream or, or their regular cold brew. So freaking good. So we're gonna try to get the iced cappuccino. We're gonna ask him for a sippy cup. Might get laughed at, but. Sorry, not sippy cup, sippy lid, which I guess is the exact same thing. I know what he's talking about. You know that when you get the nitro, it is the perfect lid on that thing. Why don't all drinks come with that? This guy's a genius. Mission successful. We got the iced cappuccino with the sippy lid. Although she was kind of rude about it, but that's another story. But guys, here's a little tip for you. The most important drink you could ever get at Starbucks is your girlfriend's. So Meg got the, what is that, almond milk latte. 
you versus the guy she told you not to worry about. All right, guys, I'm going to try this iced cappuccino for the first time, but I just realized David's first time at Starbucks was only eight months ago. I mean, he's young, I get it, but eight months, I mean, he didn't have Starbucks till after he was 20 years old. Anyway, let's give this a try. Okay. I'm telling you, the nitro cold brew, which he actually tried in this video and he thought it was good. So I should have just gotten the nitro if you guys, that's what you guys need, but this is manageable. This is manageable. I'm, I'm gonna make it better as you guys know, but I can get this down. All right, David, if you're watching this and you wanna take your coffee up a notch, man, this is what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna add in your PE Science Select Cafe. This is going to give you an extra 20 grams of protein, 100 milligrams of caffeine, and it just tastes delicious. Take a little sip of this. 25.267 out of 10, so good. And if you guys are interested, you can use Travis to save 15% off anything on pscience.com. So apparently Mr. David is known for standing up his trainer quite often, not going to the gym when he is supposed to. You're gonna need the optimal amount of weights. But we are not gonna do that today. We're at least gonna go to the gym, but I'll make sure the workout sucks or something. I kind of imagine David being that guy that's just like falling asleep on the leg press or just sitting on the treadmill, one of those, you know? But hey, the guy, he's in pretty good shape, it looks like. I think I'm playing chess, I see a king, I met his neck. I'm three steps ahead of every move, now that's a check. Yes, they wanna know my secret, it's because I never slept. Workout is complete. We are on to something much more exciting. I've got cameraman with me, and we are going to one of our favorite places, one of the best restaurants in the entire world, Chipotle. And when I was watching his house tour, he had like 10, 11, 15, I don't know how many burritos just hanging out on the countertop, and he mentioned that he eats Chipotle every single day. So after the shoot, you guys can have some. Or maybe I can just finish it up, I don't care. So we are going to get the dough brick burrito, which is the burrito with brown rice, black beans, chicken, mild salsa, corn, and light cheese. So essentially what I would get anyway, I'm telling you, me and this guy, we've just got some connection and, uh, and I'm here for it. All right, my friends, we have the one and only Dobrik Burrito. And what I learned is there's actually an option on the app where you can just click one button and order this. The only thing I forgot was a side of guacamole. But that's crazy. That is when you know you have made it in life. I'm extremely jealous about that. Mm, that is an incredible burrito. I could, I could very easily eat this every single day of my life. Another thing that David is known for is eating very fast, which I can relate to. I eat, I eat very fast, I talk very fast, I do everything very, very fast. I almost think, should I see how fast I can eat this burrito? How fast do you think I can eat this burrito? Um, two minutes and 15 seconds. So if I eat it in less than two minutes and 15 seconds, do they have to like the video? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna set my timer. Greg's gonna have a timer down here. 2.15, we'll see if she's doubting me. One minute warning. Stop doing that. What? That's wasting time. But close. I mean, yeah, those two minutes went by really fast. Yeah, they were, they were a fast two minutes. Yeah. So give me that. And you guys can still give me sympathy likes on this video. I'll take all the sympathy likes. And if, if you were one of those people that's giving me a sympathy like right now, leave a comment down below. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I mean, there has to be something in this video that you like. So go ahead, just drop the video like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'd appreciate that. I'm actually going to enjoy the rest of this burrito, not trying to stuff it down my throat as fast as I possibly can. Whew, this thing is delicious, I'll tell you that. After I eat Chipotle, I always crave Pop-Tarts because when I was in grad school, that was my Friday night treat. I would walk to get Chipotle and I would have two birthday cake Pop-Tarts. And it was amazing. It's what I looked forward to every week. And now I'm like, give me some Pop-Tarts. One, we don't have any here. And two, I read that David doesn't like sweets. And I'm like, 
What? I can't relate to anything less. Not liking sweets, it seems crazy, but he surely likes fried chicken, so I guess that makes up for it. You know, really, I should be pointing the camera to you this whole time because that's what he does in his vlogs. He just points the camera at other people. You down for that? Mm -mm. If you're gonna spend all day just binge watching David Dobrik YouTube videos, I would highly recommend you invest in some blue light blocking glasses, which is why I'm really excited that Movement has been nice enough to sponsor this video. As you guys know, I've been working with Movement for quite a few years now, and what I love about the company is they, they have very, very stylish products for amazing price points. You guys know, I wear these watches every single day, whether I'm just out and about going to Chipotle, whether I'm going to work, whether I'm going out with my friends on a date with Megan, it doesn't really matter. They have something for every single occasion you guys have noticed lately I've been wearing these non-stop even if they didn't block out the blue light from the screen which is a major problem because we all spend way too much time in front of screens they just look awesome and I really like them so the cool part about this is you can save an additional 15% using Travis at movement.com. I'm actually gonna leave that linked down below. So you're not gonna find a better deal anywhere. You're gonna be able to get some nice style and I guarantee you that you are going to love the products. And something I forgot to tell you guys earlier in the video is that the time you are watching this, little Alfredo, he's gonna be here. Guys, we pick up Alfie next week, which means when you guys watch this video, he's gonna be in this cage. We are so, so excited. I don't even have the words to set, to tell you guys. Like, it's gonna be amazing. You guys are gonna get to see little Alfie. Oh man, oh man. What is your guys' opinion on DoorDash or any kind of meal delivery service? I think it's the greatest thing in the world. Megan, not so much. I mean, I admit that, Hold on, go ahead. What's up, Meg? No, I, I know, She's, she, if you guys couldn't hear her, she said it's gonna be soggy and not very warm, and I would agree. It's not the greatest, but, the fact that you don't have to get out, of, go out of your house, that makes up for it for me at least. Is that, well, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is it a fair trade-off for me? Yeah, so we're gonna try out this place that one of my buddies recommended to me. It's called Wings Over Raleigh. So Josh, if you're lying to me and this place sucks, I'm gonna blame you, man. But the, I think whatever city you're in, they have like a wings over you know that city. And I've heard good things, so, so we'll see. It was either that or a wing stop. I've never been to either, but I did see that David went to Wingstop quite often, so I might be messing up here. Let's see who is right, me or cameraman. So we got some wing, what is this? Oh, ranch, I was I was told that he's a big ranch fan, which I am personally not. So we got a few items over here. You know, we gotta, gotta indulge a little bit. What else am I, am I dropping over here? No, oh, ketchup. 30 packets of ketchup. 30 packets of ketchup. All right. You can never have too many Big Daddy references in a video. So what do we got? Oh my goodness, we got the wings over here. I didn't even realize that I got a dry rub. It was Parmesan garlic or something like that. I thought it was gonna be a sauce. Whatever, it's still going to be delicious. We got some, what are these, sweet potato fries? What are these called? No, waffle, waffle fries. They're not mushy at all. No, they're perfect. I'm just gonna. No, they're good, they're good. Don't get me wrong. Cameraman, you're not right. Okay. Oh, grilled chicken sandwich. That, that just looks sad. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. I can already tell you, this is not going to be as good as Chick-fil-A. Looks can be deceiving. It actually has a ton of flavor. All right. Wings over Raleigh. So, we are going to try these wonderful looking wings over here. See what all the hype is about. You know, that's good. That's real good. I'll give it up to Meg. It's definitely not as fresh as it, as it would be as if you got it at the restaurant, but you know, we're uh, we're doing what we can over here. It was gonna make this better. Barbecue sauce. Now we are talking. This is my favorite barbecue sauce in the entire world. It's only 10 calories per serving. G Hughes sugar free, but it tastes delicious. And these fries, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised by these fries. So far, David's diet has been pretty awesome. And it's it's very fitting for his personality too, you know, not too serious, just kinda, I mean, he almost has a childlike diet in a way, you know, it's just like the, the staples when you were a kid, which I can respect. The one area we disagree on wholeheartedly is that he doesn't like sweets. You guys know if you've watched my channel before, I love sweets, especially cookies and chocolate. The, the fact of not liking sweets, I mean, that's just, 
mind boggling to me. I can't, I can't believe it. So one of the desserts I was able to dig up in my research was pineapple, which I mean, hey, you can appreciate his healthiness there. So I mean, pineapple is amazing. Don't get me wrong. I love pineapple any day of the week. So I'll show you his dessert versus my dessert. So you guys already know my Sunday night tradition, which is fat and weird cookies. I've never had this one. This is, I think it's like a pecan pie cookie. It's Mama Jean's famous granola pecan pie. It has a long name, but let's just give it a try. That right there, just imagine a warm pecan. Is it pecan or pecan? I don't know. Imagine that pie inside of a cookie. Wow. This just made the top of the list. And you guys already know the party animal. This one right here, it's just an absolute classic. And Fat and Weird Cookies release every Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can use Travis to save 10%. I always look forward to these. And that is going to be the end of the video, my friends. I had so much fun making this one. If you guys have any other diets you want me to try out, please leave them in the comments down below. I don't know, it's gonna be hard to top David, man. He's a, he's a cool guy. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop it a like. I would really, really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. You guys could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. I look forward to talking to you guys next time. Do you think I should do like a mukbang? A mukbang? That's what he does, isn't it? Uh-huh. David always does his mook, man. People love it. Yeah. He'll sit in the car, eat food, talk with his friends. Uh -huh. Now, granted, he has a lot more engaging of a personality and has, you know, an interesting life unlike myself. So there's a difference, but I mean, they get millions of views. What if someone came up to you in this chair? It's like, hey, you want a mukbang? Where did that term come from? Mukbang? Mm -hmm. What happened was they were in the Muckian River and they were on a boat. They were paddling down and they heard a bang. So they stopped and they started to eat. And people watched it. Mm -hmm. So after that, they said, hey, that's a muck bang. I feel bad for Greg has to watch this. I do. Mm -hmm.